Hello everyone. So uh, Next13 came out and I built my uh, little app here with uh, Next13. And um, the app works like you scan the barcodes and then you can control a game on the screen. And um, yeah, now I want to add some functionality. So I wanted an easy way to um, send transactions. So my plan now is to add the um, Solana mobile, like the Solana wallet adapter. Um, but I had some problems with it yesterday. So I quickly want to show you how it can be done and um, where are the quirks with Next13. So first of all, I found this nice uh, example here by uh, Jordan. And so what we need to do is first we need to install the packages. So that we do by terminal and then you can either use npm install or you use um, yarn add. So I do this. I, I did this earlier already. Um, or actually maybe not. Ah, I'm in the wrong folder. No, that's nice. So now I will have a package in the JSON folder here. But never mind. So you need to do that first. Then you can copy this um, wallet here. So for me, I'm going to put it into components or maybe just in source. So I call it wallet.tsx. And then I put this in here. And then we're going to just try to put it in the page and see what happens. So let's say, for example, I want to show it as soon as the game is loaded. So I would just put it here. And as soon as the game state is set, I want to add this component. So let's see what happens. Um, it already says type children has no properties. Okay, so it looks like we need to add children already to it or maybe not no okay so that like this it works so now you can see already the first error here uh, better light sql is not there so i found the workaround for that there's a bug currently so instead of the unsafe burner wallet here we want to use of course the phantom wallet phantom ah can't find yet so Phantom wallet adapter, but as long uh, as we if we import it from the adapter wallets, there is this weird problem currently. So I think they're going to fix it soon, but this is the first change you need to do. And now uh, if we reload this, it says it can't find it, but I changed it already. Okay, so now we have um, wallet here that we can use. Um, and also there are some errors because um, we can't just put this component into our React component here because it needs to hook out. So as you can see here in this wallet, it says here, hey, your apps component need to go here. But um, since we are in, um, in React uh, in Next13 now, we need to do it a bit differently. So here we have our children in the layout. And now we want to have these children in between our um, wallet connection provider. So how we do that, let me quickly Google that. Uh, I never can remember how it, uh, how it works. Uh, React children props. So I think I have been here earlier already. Um, so how it looks like is like this. So we need the props and then we add the children. So if we go here to our wallet, we add the props here and then we need to add these props here and then we put the children here and then we can just put the children in between here. So I'll remove this and for some reason that doesn't work i guess this needs to be in brackets yeah okay and now what we can do we can, can go here to our layout and we can say wallet open and now that we can provide children we can just pro put these children in here in between here and now it should actually already work um 
Yeah, it says that it can't uh, use client components in server components, which uh, because uh, everything that's an app is uh, our server components. So what we need to do is we put a used client tag on the top of our volunteer, uh, which tells it that this is a client component. And now if you render this, we don't have errors anymore, but we also don't have a, a button yet. So what we want is here we want this wallet multi button and maybe also the disconnect button. Then we go back to our page and instead of the wallet here, we put in these two buttons. And let's see if my auto completion works. Auto import. No. I think I need to restart um, Visual Studio, but for now let's just take uh, copy it from here. So now we have it imported and now if we reload our app, we should see another error, apparently. Uh, unexpected token main. That doesn't make sense. Ah, I think because it's React, we need to put it into this little extra brackets. Ah, so now it look, uh, it works. So we can now connect and we can disconnect. And uh, should I quickly show you how to do a transaction? Maybe it makes sense. Okay, so uh, since we uh, use this tool, cool tool, uh, tail CSS, let's quickly see uh, how we show a button <laughs> in Tailwind. That is a bit nice. Okay, so let's take this one and we need to call it class name, of course, here. So now we have a button and we call it um, restart game because that's actually the one that I currently need here, restart. And then we say here on click, we want to call restart game. And then we do a new function here call it restart game. The copilot already tells me what I want to do, which is really nice. Um, so I close this. And now the transactions that I'm using for the game um, are actually in the server. So I find them here on the pages API transactions. And now I just gonna copy over this transaction and then we're gonna change it so that it does what we want. And I assume this needs to be async. And I hope this works. Okay. So now I have transaction. For fee payer, actually I need the uh, I need the public key. So for that, let's see here in the Solana cookbook for the wallet adapter how I can get the public key from my wallet adapter. So here we can see we can use connection and we can use the public key from the wallet. So let's put this up here. Now we should have that. For some reason it doesn't use the it doesn't show me the imports, but I'm just gonna copy them over. So now I have the public key for the transaction. So we put that here. This all we don't need, we just want the restart instruction. And let me copy that one as well. This comes from here. New transaction instruction. So that one we want to add. All right, this is looking good. So here we need to import the program ID. We need to import transaction from web3.js. As a public key for the restart, we need the public key from our phantom wallet again. And now we don't have the anchor discriminator. So that one we need to copy as well. It's just if you want to call an anchor program, you can either import it uh, as an IDL or you just take the char258 hash from the function name and pass that one in. So I'm going to use that and then I also need to import that. Sorry if this is a bit boring, but um, maybe someone is interested in how you can do a transaction with wallet adapter. So I'm just going to continue. So the transaction fee payer cannot be null. So I will check here if 
uh, the public key is undefined, then we're just going to return. So it will probably be there if the player is not is connected, but if not, um, we could show an error now, for example. Um, okay, now we have the transaction. We put in the latest block hash from our connection. We get the anchor discriminator. We tell it we want to move uh, to restart the game and we put the discriminator and then instead of doing this here transaction serialize we want to send the transaction so we go here to how to send sol with the wallet adapter and then we copy this and we delete this and now we put the transaction in and confirm transaction is not supposed to be used anymore for some reason is deprecated but still works it's still in the example so it's probably still be good okay so now if i do this i select the wallet i sh restart the game it expired so this is probably because my wallet is set to mainnet so let me quickly change that let's go to definite disconnect connect and now if we restart we should be able to do that approve and the game is restarted and yeah now you can just add more buttons and uh, yeah uh, it's an easy way to interact with your with your app and if you add more providers then here you can see for example it already has the backpack in there and that can be all the other wallets, Glow Wallet, um, Soul Flare, and are there probably a bunch more. <laughs> yeah, I hope this helped a little bit uh, in case you ever want to use the wallet adapter in, in Next.js 13. Um, yeah, thank you very much for listening and see you in the next one. Bye bye.